six inch, eight inch margin trowel. We find an eight inch margin trowel really works nice. You get a lot of material down quickly. Okay, so I've, I think I've got just about enough material on the top of the girder. So I take a 10 inch drywall knife, smooth out all the ridges, and get a nice even surface. And we'll mix for a full three minutes. We set up a work table and covered it with polyethylene and uh, poured the, the mixed epoxy saturant directly onto the fiber. We're not using a saturating machine. It's, uh, the saturating machine is much too large for this project. So we take a, we take a Okay, we're uh, installing the first sheet. We've pre-saturated several pieces and rolled them on simple PVC sections. Makes them easier to manipulate, easier to move from, from the workbench uh, to the workplace. So we've pre-saturated both sides. Simply roll out the Roll out the tube, roll out the fiber, and then start from the, from the middle and work to the ends. There's a big bubble right here you want to work out to the sides or to the ends. We're using Seco 103C, which is a very heavy fabric. And uh, Joyce. On top of the first joist, we've installed two eight-inch yeah. strips. Good. And um, now we get now we get a, a stirrup to finish to tie these um, tie these strips in. Okay. So we roll it out and. Lay it out on top. On top, work the air out. To maintain the heat in this area for at least 24 hours because it's a little cold outside. But we've uh, managed managed a 70 70 degree air temperature and 50 degree concrete temperature uh, during the process, and we can maintain that process that temperature. Uh, throughout the evening. For today at Falling Water, uh, it took three men approximately eight hours to install the fiber that you've seen. Now that would include all the setup and clean up afterwards. Uh, there was significant preparation involved that we did not show on this on this tape, on this video. Uh, we want to remind you that as you can